Hey everybody, Ken Surf's here and we're in the shave den and we're going to do another shave today. Hope all of you are doing well. Hope uh, it's a good week for you. We had that uh, Hurricane Hillary last weekend here in Orange County and California, Southern California, and uh, a lot of rain, a lot of damage inland. Luckily, I live on the coast and usually that's the area that gets hit the hardest, but uh, it looks like the uh, the eye of the hurricane or the eye of the tropical storm moved uh, inland east of us. So uh, we got a lot of rain. My lawn loved it. Uh, umbrellas blew over, but, you know, not a lot of damage here in my city. Thank goodness. But I know people inland. I was uh, talking to one gentleman, said he lost his garage roof. Mudslide came down in the winds and just tore his garage apart. So I was very lucky. And thank you very much for everybody who sent uh, messages saying, hey, how's it going? And, you know, during that storm, we had a 5.1 uh, earthquake up in Ojai, California. I didn't even feel it. Uh, but people who are new to California, they felt it. They're going, whoa, what was that? So <laughs> double duty. All right, enough of that. Today I'm going to be trying out uh, the last of the new scents that I've received from uh, Denton Magique uh, Shave Company. And this is Flores de Amor. And it is a tribute to Tres Flores, or Trey, is it Trey? Trey Flores Brillante Hair Oil. And I've never had an opportunity to smell that, but this stuff uh, smells really good. It's basically a floral scent, light floral scent, jasmine, iris, lilies, and carnations. And it is really nice. It comes in the, uh, I got the 2.5 ounce again, 2.5 ounce container, and I have the uh, smaller bottle of aftershave. In fact, if you notice, I haven't even taken off the plastic yet. Let's see, there we go. Smell that. Very, very pleasant floral scent. So we're going to use that today. And I keep getting requests for the uh, my Rockwell 6S. Now, uh, I'm going to be using this razor today. This is the Rockwell 6S, and it's got a base plate. I think it's number two on there, which is for semi-sensitive skin. I really don't have sensitive skin, but I went to the dermatologist, and you could see burn marks and burn marks, and I, they got a couple here. So I want to make sure I don't make myself bleed with the uh, razor today. So I'm using base plate number two. And if you've never seen the Rockwell razors, comes in a nice container like that with the different base plates and it'll show you what each base plate is good for like from sensitive skin you know all the way up to you know a very aggressive base plate number six so you have your choices here what I'm going to use like I said is the number two blade or number two base plate so I'm going to open that up and it's a three-piece razor, and I've used this razor many, many times. I, in fact, I was on their site, because I cut and paste stuff from their site into the video, you know, showing the description of these razors. And now it's down to $120 for this razor. At least that's what I read. Uh, when I bought it several years ago, it was like $150. And they have the 6C, which is not the stainless version, and it is, it used to be a lot less expensive. And I, I, to be honest, I haven't looked to see how much the 6C is right now. But uh, base plate two, and you see they're two-sided. So the angle of that is what uh, determines your shave. I'm gonna be using base plate number two. And it's a nice, healthy, solid razor. I've had a little bit of patina or a little bit of rust spots there and you know I usually just take a wire brush and I can clean that all off but uh, I've had this for about five years now and it really never lets me down. It's a very very heavy razor. I'm going to use uh, the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl today with the soap and I'm going to use the uh, Samoog Owner's Club brush. I'm going to actually put this into the crystal skull right now. There we go. Started out with one Samoag Owners Club brush, which was uh, this guy here. That was my first. Now I got like four. So again, you know, it's a rabbit hole that you'll fall down if you start wet shaving. 
uh, and it's fun. It's fun to collect. It's, it's really fun. My brushes, I've got a new Ken Surf's brush coming out. They're sending me the prototypes. I chose the design. They're sending me four of them, and I'm going to uh, give two of them away uh, in a giveaway. I just haven't received them yet. So some of people were asking, hey, I want to buy one when it'll be available. I just have to look at them, give my okay, and then they'll, they'll list them. So shall we get the shave started? All right, I'm going to use... This, I'm gonna put in uh, some soap into the shave bowl, and we should be able to get this started right away. Let's scoop some of this out. There we go. Put it into the bottom of the Captain's Choice. I've had the uh, ceramic version of the Captain's Choice, and I've dropped that a few times. It didn't break, because I do have some you know, carpet down here, Not entire bathroom but uh mats and it fell on the mat and didn't break but these you can drop those all you want she's not gonna break all right set this aside wet the face and we'll get this started there we go yeah it's gonna burn off my nose yeah they hey they find them if, I, I tell you if you're prone to skin cancers or pre-skin cancers or anything like that, really go get checked out. It's better to, you know, have a scar. You see, I got some scars from stuff that's been removed. It's better to have the scar than the alternative. All right. Let's start this. And, and they do, I do like, this is grippy right there. Their emblem is very grippy. The rest of it's very slick, but this is very grippy. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice floral scent. I need a shave and I'm getting a haircut tomorrow so <laughs> okay. you can hear my dog he wants in here I'm not gonna let him in all right this is a very weighty heavy razor oh that's very mild to this day I probably have not used all the base plates that are available in my kit. This is extremely mild for me. Oh, yeah, like I said, the Wilkinson Sword Gillette blade is a very mild blade anyway, I, I feel so. If you use a real aggressive sharp blade, like a feather on the lower base plates, you know, you get some good results too. One of the viewers says he doesn't like his feather razor, the, the AS, I forgot the number. So he's sending it to me. He goes, hey, if you want it, you know, use it. If not, give it away. I'm going to try out that feather razor when it arrives. Might be one I've already tried, but uh, I have forgotten. Thought my house was haunted the other day. Uh, my son's sitting at the living room or dining room table. 
then all of a sudden all the igniters, you know, we have a gas range, all the igniters started firing on all four of the range. Click, 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 click. Nobody's touching it. Click, 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 click. You can't really have that. I had to pull out the, the oven from the wall and unplug the damn thing. So we're waiting for the repair guy to come. Very weird. I'm glad I was home when it happened. All right, now that's not 100%. I wouldn't go out like this. I would definitely do a second pass. Oh, very slick soap though. Mark, you did a, you've done another good scent. Although I've never, I've never, uh, I've never tried the hair oil. He says in the old days, he used to use that hair oil all the time. So he wanted to fashion a scent that was similar. Yeah, I think the three would have been a little better for me, but I shouldn't say that because I haven't cut myself yet. And that's what my goal was. You have the feedback? One guy said he listens to my videos wearing his Sony, is it X5 headphones, which are, you know, high-end, high-end uh, over-the-ear headphones. And he says he can hear all the feedback. coming on. I keep it set at like 76 degrees in the house and uh, my wife likes to have it like 72 but definitely been a weird summer here in SoCal. And someone said to me you know when that storm was about to hit it was very humid, very quiet. The birds weren't flying, and someone said, "Hey, this is earthquake. Uh, this is this is the, this is a sign of an earthquake." And I'm going, "Hey, <laughs> it was an earthquake." Earthquake weather, that's what they said. Earthquake weather. All right. I remember, I think it was 91, 92, I was working for the state of California for Caltrans. I'm a civil engineer. And when the earthquake happened then and the freeway bridges collapsed in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. I remember that was like a 24 seven, people were working 24 seven to open up those, those free, that was the 10 freeway bridge, I believe. And uh, luckily this time, uh, you know, no, no major damage. That one, you know, thing just collapsed. All right, here we go. Ooh. No, not too bad. Tingle. There's alcohol in there. Let's add a little more. Yeah, yeah, they burnt me there. So I can feel it there real good. There we go. Very pleasant floral scent. Of course, I got it all over me. Whew. Well, there we go. Another successful shave. No nicks. So the 6S. My opinion, a very, 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 very good razor. And, you know, it's not an adjustable, it's an interchangeable. I guess you'd call it, some people call it an adjustable razor, but uh, you have to change the base plate. So, uh, you know, my idea of an adjustable razor is when you turn a dial. But again, 
Whether you've got sensitive skin or you've got that beard that grows out a quarter inch in one day, this razor will do it for you, for sure. And do you guys have them? Uh, have, you, have you had the, I'm really curious to see if people move from the 6C up to the 6S, you know. So, you know, if you have, let me know. I'd be very curious to hear about that. All right. Stay safe, everybody. Thanks for watching, and thank you very much for subscribing. We'll see you next time.